my channel. My name is Jess and I love doing DIY, making clothes in a seemly but free way. If you have been following me for a while or you have a look at my channel, I'm sure you will notice that I have so many jumpsuit tutorials because I'm quite addicted to jumpsuit. I usually look for a different design of jumpsuit to try on. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you how I make this jumpsuit. It's a long leg jumpsuit with a uh, draft design, super cute and comfortable. I use muslin fabric for this DIY to increase the comfortable feeling for this jumpsuit and I want to make it become one of my loud wear. But if you want to try this jumpsuit and wear it out, I think it's better to try with a different fabric and in my opinion, the best one would be linen fabric. Besides that, you also can try cotton. The soft one would be better. So if you like jumpsuit, I hope you will like this tutorial and check it out. And let's get started. The first step is making the pattern for the jumpsuit. To make the back pattern, I draw a rectangle with 25 cm width, which is a quarter of my hip side plus 2 cm and 90 cm length which is the length from 2 cm above the belly button to my ankle. From one width line, I mark at 33 cm on two length lines. It's the quarter of my hip side plus 1 per 10 my hip side. It's the height of the pants of the jumpsuit. From this line, I move up 9.2 cm which is 1 per 10 my hip side. Then connect it to one end of the line at 7 cm away from the first straight line. After that, I draw a curved line there to create the cross line for the back pants. From the end of the cross line, I draw a line straight down to the end of the leg to finish the inside line of the pants. At the top of the pants, I mark at 2 cm inside the width line, then redrawing the cross line. After that, I draw a straight line 40 cm from the top of the cross line. It's the length from the shoulder to 3 cm above the belly button. From the top of the new line, I draw a straight line foot. Then I mark at 7 cm on that line later. It's the half width of the neck that I want. I connect this mark to the mask at 4 cm on the continuous cross line, then drawing a curved line bay on it to finish the neckline of the back pattern. From the top of the neckline, I mark out at 23 cm on the straight line. It's the length of the sleeve that I want. Then drawing a perpendicular line with 4 cm width from that mark. I connect the end of this line to the top of the neckline to create a shoulder line for the pattern. After that, I draw a 20 cm perpendicular line from the end of the shoulder line. It's the width of the sleeve that I want. From the top of the continuous cross line, I mark down at 26 cm which is the length from the shoulder to the middle of the bust. Then drawing a perpendicular line from that mark. The length of the new line is 21 cm which is a quarter of my bust side plus 1 cm. Then connect the end of this line to the end of the sleeve line. 
On the waistline, I mark at 18cm, which is a quarter of my waist side plus 1cm. Then connect this mark to the end of the bust line and to the end of the hip line. So I will have a raw side line of the jumpsuit. I draw a curved line based on it to finish the back pattern. I add 1cm for seam allowance after that. But for the ending of the leg, I add 3cm for seam allowance. And here's the back pattern after cutting. To make the front pattern, I use the back pattern without the seam allowance. Firstly, I chain the cross line of the front pattern. In stick up 9.2cm, I just move out 4.6cm which is 1 by 20 my hip side. Then drawing a new cross line and new inside line of the legs similar to the way I did to the back pattern. At the shoulder line, I make it 2cm shorter than the back. On the waistline, I draw out 14cm. So the length of the waistline will be 32cm, which is a half of my waist side. From the bust line, I mark up 4cm. So the rest will be the tip of the neck that I want. Then connect this mark to the end of the shoulder line and the end of the new sway line to create the neckline for the front. After that, I connect the end of the new waistline to the end of the hip line foot, then drawing a curved line to connect the cross line to it later. Adding the seam allowance after that, and here's the front pattern of the jumpsuit. To make the pocket pattern, I cut a rectangle with 20cm width and 30cm length. On one length line, I mark at the middle foot, then connecting this mark to one end of the other length line by a curved line. From the waistline of the back pattern, I mark down 5cm. Then fixing this mark to the top of the pocket pattern to draw a matching outside line for the pocket. And here's the pocket pattern after cutting. I use 2 meter of muslin fabric for this DIY. The width of my fabric is 160cm. Apply the pattern on the fabric and draw along. You will need 2 pieces of the back pattern, 2 pieces of the front pattern and 4 pieces of the pocket pattern. After cutting, I connect 2 pieces of the back pattern together at the cross line. For the front, I just connect them from the hip line to the end of the cross line and keep the rest of the cross line open. After that, I use the pattern to mark the position for the pocket, then add in the pockets to two side line of the front and the back of the jumpsuit.
After that, I connect the front and the back of the jumpsuit together at the shoulder, two sides and the inside leg. To create the dip for the pocket, I mark at 14cm from the top of the pocket. It's the width of the open pocket where you can put your hand in, then sew the rest of the pocket together. To finish the end of the sleeve, I fold the fabric inside two times and sew it together. To make the ties for the jumpsuit, I cut two rectangles with 8cm width and 40cm for the short tie and 80cm for the long tie. I fold the rectangle on the land line and sew them together first. After that, I use a long stick to turn the ties. I connect one end of the tie to the end of the waistline on the front part of the jumpsuit after that. I cut a long fabric with 2cm width to hem the cross in the neck of the jumpsuit. I connect one side of the long fabric to the cross and the neckline foot. After the first seam, I fold the other side of the long fabric inside two times and make the second seam. At the end of the leg, I draw a line at 6cm from the end foot. Then I fold the end fabric inside 1cm. Then keep folding it to the line just real before that. And so to finish the end of the leg. The last step is to unsew a small part at one side of the jumpsuit for the tie to go through. And I finished this DIY. Here's my final result. The jumpsuit is so cute and so comfortable. I hope you will try it out. See you next week.